likely get another run in the state legislature. The governor vetoed similar legislation last year, but sponsors are promising to revamp it. And the Snyder administration tells political correspondent Tim Skubik the governor is willing to revisit the gun issue. The governor vetoed the original guns in school legislation because it did not allow schools, daycare centers, hospitals, and sports facilities to ban guns. But this conservative Republican senator promises to reintroduce the measure next week with some changes that he hopes the governor will sign. And the lieutenant governor reports if lawmakers resolve the governor's objections. The conversation could be um, opened again to um, to try and uh, accommodate the, uh, the reasons that the governor had issued the veto in the first place. But the killing of students in that Connecticut school still hangs over this debate. But the sponsor says his bill could have saved lives. The principal that threw herself at the, at the, the, the gun guy in, in Connecticut, that, that's fixed nothing except it killed her. And why wouldn't she have been able to stay 20 feet away from her, pull her gun out and shoot the guy? She'd have had a whole lot better chance and she'd saved a whole lot of kids. Watch this liberal Democrat grimace when told of the senator's theory. I don't think we want to turn our, our uh, teachers into, uh, you know, armed guards. They're there for the purpose of educating our kids. And I think the, the idea that we'd want to send our, our school personnel into school with guns is very scary to me. Meanwhile, a Senate committee has voted to exempt guns made in Michigan from any new federal laws to control weapons. Mr. Green argues that's the right thing to do, too. We're a sovereign state. And why do we have to do every little stinking little thing that the federal government tells us to do? Look for a vote on that gun bill soon. In Lansing, Tim Skubik, 6 News. Meanwhile, in Washington, the